Hey everybody, welcome back! Falcon, Curious Expedition. Again, apologies for the post-commentary which we're going to be doing for this episode as well. Uh, what happened again, if you didn't catch the last episode, is that I did record these with actual commentary, but my microphone was on mute because I'm a big dummy. So, I had two options. One, just release them like that without any commentary, which I figured would be kind of boring and you guys would understand some of my choices. Or two, just do some post-commentary and some cuts to break down some of the monotony of me just assuming what I'm talking about right now. Like, right now, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I guess I'm over here considering going to that cave or not. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to do some cuts for this episode as well. We already activated one seal. I think we're looking for another one to find the Golden Pyramid because with Expedition 5 and 6, we're going to actually find some pedestals that we have to activate in order to find the pyramid, which is a little bit more difficult and more tricky than just finding a pyramid without it. By the way, um, I think we don't end up going to that cave and we go somewhere else. So let's find out exactly what we ended up doing. No, you know what? Pardon me, I'm just a liar. I don't remember what I did like, you know, an hour ago. We did come to the cave and we explored it with the torch because we had one. I guess that's the reason why I came in here. And we found the mummies, the spooky mummies, and... You know, it's funny. These mummies actually have an event down the line that, um, you know, scared me quite a bit. I mean, this right here is really unsettling, just the fact that you walk into this cave. It's all dark and you see, like, all these huddled masses just kind of staring at you. But then again, we're the ones over here pillaging the mummies, so we're really the bad guys here. If they're over here trying to scare you, it's probably a good thing because, you know, you're over here stealing from natives. I lost some more standing with them, which I agree. We should lose more standing with them because we're over here as terrible outsiders just pillaging their land, causing volcanoes to erupt, etc., etc. But over here, I'm over here looking, trying to find out what the next region we should be aiming for right now because, as you can see, there is another pedestal in this region as well. I'm trying to figure out where that might be because, again, we need two of them to activate the pyramid for this one. Luckily for us, we did find a location here. I think that even before we get unlocked, that I figured that was going to be that little town right there. And was I right? I was damn right, because you know what? Falcon actually understands the map now, too. There's other things about this game I finally got. Took me long enough, but there you go. We found this traitor, and there was really nothing here that I really wanted from him. Although I do believe we end up getting those guns, if I'm correct here. Over here was just kind of like taking a look around to see what he would offer me for these items. But again, we'd rather prefer to use them for fame down the line. So let's get forward here. So, as you can see, we actually did end up doing the trade for the meat and the hyena pelt for those guns. And, you know, I just wanted to have them just because, you know, the maps are getting a lot bigger now. The guns, the flare guns, what they're used for is if you shoot them off into the sky, you kind of reveal some of the map. Not really a big amount of the map like the stone encryptions would do, but at least it gives you a little bit of an idea of what's ahead of you. Now, the only downside with using the flare guns is that they're also flammable. So, in case you hit, like, a you know, like a jungle or something, you do have the risk of actually having that spread about, and who knows how long that's going to go. So that's the downside of using a flare gun for sure. Do I even end up using a flare gun? I don't remember. But over here, I decided to finally stop with the too good to use syndrome. I was out of whiskey, as we can see. Um, I need to fight some. So as you can see, there's nothing around the area that I could fight with only eight sandy. So I decided to finally use the campsite. And what's pretty cool about the campsite is that you actually get to sleep in it over and over and over until you feel like leaving. So, we end up sleeping here for a few days, and what's pretty cool is that after you use it once, you could come back to it again if you so felt the need to. Now over here, this is where I realized that I was like, oh wow, you could use it again, this is pretty fucking OP as hell. And as you can see, we're only at 48 of 110, so we'll definitely go ahead and rest here one more night. Now here's what's kind of weird. We settled down, allowing everyone to rest. There was an unnatural quiet to the night as we sat and stared into the campfire. I could swear I heard a, I heard a faint whispering. And that was coming from the actual mummy, which is what I mentioned earlier. That mummy is uh, making some weird noises, and I decided to be like, you know what? <laughs> no, no, we're getting the hell out of here. And as we left, a fire began to spread from probably our campfire itself. And I was worried because it's like, you know what? I've been in the middle of a fire before when we set off those volcanoes a while back. We need to get the hell out of here soon. And my idea was, you know what? What's the best location to be at? Water. Falcon, go to the water. No, 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 don't go over there. Why go over there? Why climb a hill? Go towards the water, dog. Falcon. Yeah, the water. There you go. What's good against fire? Water. Just basic Pokemon knowledge, dog. There you go. And we found a location here as well. And that's going to be the other shrine. There's another shrine there. But again, that's being over here surrounded with fire, so do we really want to go there? Probably not. Over here considered fighting these birds. Do we fight the birds? I think we do. Let's find out. 
Alrighty, so we absolutely fought the birds here, and as you can see, he did a lot of damage to one of our dudes. I think that's either Sweeney or Langdon, one or the other. But either way, we brought him down. A little bit more of a dangerous fight for sure, but hey, we got some two bird feathers from that and some meat. I don't really care about the meat, I think we left that behind. Yeah, we take the feathers instead, because the feathers are actually really amazing for either selling or for um, fame. So again, one of the easiest ways you can beat this game, I honestly want to say, is by just being... Uh, doing a combat run because you get so many you know items to sell for fame or for um, actual funds that you know either way you go about it you're gonna be pretty good i still want to do a run probably more than likely with a a non-fighting party but for now fighting is just too good to ignore and here we go here's the second seal which we do end up activating for sure are we gonna do that we're gonna read this again falcon this is activating because i'm gonna show the people what's coming up next after we activate this come on do it my friend yeah, yeah. Yeah, we read it before. Just activate it. All right, so there you go. We activate this, and we're in for a special treatment here, because what's really cool about this is if we hit continue here, boom! Our golden pyramid has now been revealed to us, and we know exactly where it's at, and more importantly, when you do it this way, you don't need a moonstone or any sort of weird trinket to actually get in there, which is really ideal. All righty, we're going to cut forward here a little bit. Now, this right here was a surprisingly long fight. Um, we already took care of the other one, but there was two raptors that we ended up having to fight for the Expedition 5 fights against the raptors. You can see they did a quite a number on Frederick Courtney Sellis, but, you know, we were able to persevere from this one for sure. We got two raptor skins, and we got some teat from it as well, and some more raw meat as well. I think we ended up dropping the, the guns, the ones that we got that trade from. You know, since Falcon always dumps off the stuff that he picks up instantly, I considered the climbing gear, but we end up dropping off those hyena pelts for the skins, and we end up dropping the guns for the teeth. And with nothing standing in our way, we saw a fight over there potentially, but, you know, we're completely packed to the guild. There's really no reason to go to that next um, area to find out. Neither that question mark, because again, we have everybody maxed now. There's really no point in us getting more region points for leveling. Everybody's maxed out. We decided to go to the pyramid. Let's avoid any sort of issue, and you know what? Suddenly, Falcon is going to enter the pyramid. We're done, and we're on our way to... What is that? Expedition 6? Which is pretty goddamn ideal. I've never been to Expedition 6 before. That's going to be the course of the next episode for us, for sure. We're going to wrap it up right here as well. Let's find out, though, what or how we do in terms of our fame over here. 610 is our current fame. The pyramid gives us 230 more. Got a few butterflies, for sure. Now, we spent a few extra days here because we did camp out here for a while, so that's going to hit us overall from our overall score, but our new fame is at 757 here. Let's find out what the perk is that we end up choosing. And we end up going with the black market because my reason for this one was Expedition 6 is coming up. We have a lot of money, and we're out of sanity items, so what we're looking for is a really good market before our last expedition to basically spend all that money that we have saved up. we got to spend it because there's no reason to keep it after if we're going to be going on our last expedition. So as you can see right now, we're in second place by, you know, what is that, like 40, 49 points of fame away. So with the amount of stuff that we got from this expedition alone, we're going to have enough to get into first place easily. And as a matter of fact, let's show you exactly how we wind up. So over here, I'm doing the last bit of dealings. And as you can see, we're already up to first place, 1,008. And we have 387 funds left over. We are in first place. All we have to do is actually beat the next expedition, and we should win the race for sure easily. So, tune in tomorrow, guys. Find out if Falcon beats Curious Expedition finally. I will catch you next time.